So today we're going to take a look at the tip to the updated version of the original Nikkor tip. An awesome little keychain flashlight as well. You can see lengthwise it's about the same and widthwise with the pocket clip it's about the same. So size wise you've got about the same as the original tip but definitely some upgraded features. One being that this puts out 720 lumens on its turbo mode as opposed to 360 lumens max on the original tip. Price wise, this is about $15 more coming in at $45 versus the 30 that you can get the, uh, with the original tip. Now these original tips came in different colors. This happens to be the copper color. You can see that it's starting to tarnish a little bit. You know, I never really did like the pocket clip on the original tip, although it never did uh, break on me or anything. USB rechargeable, but there is no cover. This essentially serves sort of as the cover when it's on there. It is nice that you can put it on the brim of a hat, uh, so you can turn it into a, a headlamp, and then it does have very easy uh, operation. You can hold the back button down to get to your lowest level. You can hold the uh, front button down to get to your highest level. Now in this one, it actually will stay on that highest level of 360 lumens. The new tip two, it's only momentary while you hold uh, the button. So operation wise, it's pretty similar to the new tip two. You can put it in a demo mode, which will turn the light off after 30 seconds, or you can put it in a daily mode, which will leave the light on indefinitely until the battery runs out or until you turn it off. So operation wise, it's pretty much the same. All right, so now that Mr. Plane quieted down a little bit, you have the same sort of chintzy pocket clip on the new tip, which, you know, again, not really a huge fan of, but it is still uh, facing the way that you could put this on a brim of a hat, so you could turn it into a headlamp, which is nice. I myself would just use it as I used the, the original tip and just use it as a uh, keychain flashlight. So you can see again the form factor here is the same. You've got the same uh, power button and mode button. This one as well can be put into the demo mode and the daily mode uh, just by holding down the two buttons. You hold them down and then you get two flashes. That would be the daily mode. You hold it down again you get the one flash that's the the demo mode now as far as lockout goes which is important on a keychain flashlight this one doesn't have a lockout uh, like the tip does but the tip comes on immediately when you push that button it's immediately going to come on whereas the tip two a little bit different here you have to hold it down uh, to activate the light you've got dual emitters as opposed to a single emitter on the, um, the original tip. The original tip had the XPG2 S3. This one has two of the XP uh, G3 S3 LEDs in it. So in addition to the dual emitters, a little bit brighter output on the tip two. Uh, you do have a little bit more waterproof ability. It's IP67 as opposed to, I believe, IP53 on the, uh, the original tip, basically because you got the exposed port there. You don't have an exposed port on this one, but it is still USB rechargeable. And that's what's pretty neat about this. You just pull this back uh, cap off here, and that exposes the micro USB slot to be able to be recharged, but it also serves as a magnetic uh, mount. So you can mount this to a toolbox, mount it to a uh, surface on your vehicle, mount it to any metallic surface, uh, refrigerator for example, when the power's out, without it disrupting your keys in your pocket. That's the biggest beef I have with keychain flashlights, uh, such as the small Olight, I believe S1 or S1 Mini, that has the magnetic tail on it. You put that thing in a pocket or you put it uh, on your keys and instantly everything is going to be attracted to it. So I like the fact that they have a cover here. It's actually got a five pound uh, pull strength to it. So it's not gonna pop off on its own. You really actually have to really uh, pull this cap to get it off. So that's nice. It's not going to, you know, it's slim enough just like the tip to put it on your keys, but it's not going to magnetize. To, it's not going to stick to everything in your pocket or everything on your key ring. And when you want to charge it or if you want to be able to use the, the magnetic portion of it, you've got it there. So I really, really like that. It's got a CNC machined, um, I believe, aluminum body to it, just like the this tip anyway. I know they did make some plastic tips. Um, so that's nice. And then finally here you do have 
a power status. You can go ahead and click the top button once there and you've got three little LEDs here. So when all three of them are blinking, you're better than 50%. If two of them are blinking, you're under 50%. And if one of them is blinking, you're under 10% and it would be uh, time to charge. So overall, a pretty dang cool little keychain flashlight. Same form factor as the original tip, brighter. Um, you know, just a few little features that I would have liked to see different. I would have liked to see the moonlight come on with holding the back button down there. Um, but I do really like the fact that it has the magnetic mount without it being uh, with the cover there that covers up uh, that magnetic uh, portion of it. So now let's compare it to another light. Let's compare it to the Nikkor Tup, which is one of my favorite flashlights. Now, right away, form factor, you can see, you know, it's maybe about uh, twice as big. Tup's, Tup's about twice as big here. Um, I do like the fact that it has a metal pocket clip on it, a deep carry metal pocket clip. So this one is, is a great EDC flashlight, something that you could still carry on a keychain, maybe a little bit big, but um, you know, I do like the magnetic uh, or the uh, metallic pocket clip there. Now, one other thing that you're getting with the TUP is you're getting the, um, the OLED screen here, which not only tells you the brightness setting that you're on, but also tells you your time remaining uh, in, that, uh, in that mode. So although this one doesn't tell you the brightness setting that you're on, it will tell you with uh, uh, the LED readout or the LED uh, light readout how much battery power you have left, but not as nice as on the top where you actually have the uh, visible display there. Now, this one also does the hold the back to get to your one lumen and hold the front to get to your uh, turbo on this guy, which is 1000 lumens. Again, the turbo on this one, just like on this one, is just momentary. So you can't actually keep it in the brightest mode like you can on the original tip. Not that big a deal for me. If I just want some light, I can hold it down. Um, you know, same with this. If I just want some really bright light, I can just hold it down. Not a big deal. And then if I just want to go into, let's say like a 200 lumen setting here, uh, you can go ahead and uh, do that. So unlocking takes just about as much time. So I can press both of these down and unlock, you know, and you see you've got pretty much the same amount of time to turn these on from a locked status. So actually I don't mind that on uh, on a keychain light that you have to hold it down to get it on because then the, then you're not having to mess with having to put this in a lockout mode the tip 2 also has that magnetic uh, tail uh, cap to it where you do not have that on the top this one will actually also tail stand whereas the top will not so pros for me with the tip 2 is that the magnet is covered but it still does have the magnet capability to, to attach to things I like that but it's not going to attach to everything in your pocket it's got the small form factor that I would actually put on my keys it has uh, no lockout but uh, its lockout is just simply that you have to hold it down to turn it on which takes the same amount of time as locking a light out so I don't mind that I do like the mode spacing here you've got uh, a one lumen low You've got a uh, 30 lumen, then a 200 lumen, then it's brightest at 720. Um, a few little things that I don't like about it or that could be upgraded with it is this pocket clip. You know, this thing feels really chintzy, uh, really, you know, uh, like it's going to break. Every time I go to put this thing on here, which you kind of have to just clip it on here, I feel like I'm going to break it. I would only really use that if I was gonna use it for a headlamp. Again, this would be something that would go on my keys, so I'm not too concerned about it, but I could see that breaking off uh, pr pretty quickly uh, and easily. And then the uh, other thing that I don't like is that you don't have the instant access to low. Instead of coming back on, on the memorized mode, I'd rather that just go to low. So some a few minor beefs uh, with this light. It seems like you can never get the perfect light. Of course, everybody's different, but uh, that's my take on it. Overall, a really great light, and uh, if you're interested, there will be links below.